hi guys this is video studio and in today's video i'm going to teach you how to turn your 2d logo into 3d using element 3d so without wasting my time let's get into after effects so guys we are in after Effects. i'll click on new composition i'll name it element 3d i'll make sure the rate is 1920 and the height is 1080 i'll make sure my frame rate is 60 resolution full duration is 20 seconds next thing is i have to bring in my logo i'll drag and drop my logo over here i'll bring it into the timeline parts now my logo is black that's why you are not seeing it so you have to click here you have to toggle on transparency grid you click here you are going to see my logo over here so i'll come to this part and search for fill if you cannot find your effects and preset parts come to windows and come and check with effect and presets i'll check on fill i'll click it twice i'm going to see my logo over here i'll turn the color into what into white so guys what i'm going to do is that i'm going to trace my logo so i'll come to layer parts then come to auto trace so i'll trace my logo guys you can copy the settings over here and i'll press ok i'm going to create a new solid which is the element 3d i'll right click on a on an empty space come here come to new come towards solid i'll name it what e3d which is element 3d make sure the rate is 1920 everything over here i'll make the color black or gray i'll click on ok i'll make sure that my element 3d layer is below all other layers so the next thing that i'm going to do is that i'm going to up the visibility of the logo and the auto trace layer i'll up them and i'll select my element 3d layer i'll come towards effect the effect panel and i'll come to video cool pilot then i'll come towards element so i'll select it like this i'll come to custom layers this is so important guys I'll click over here and I'll come to custom text and max. I'll click on that side. I'll come to part layer one. I'll click on that. I'll take in what? Auto trace logo. The one we just auto trace, not the actual logo. So I'll check on that. And I'll click I'll click over here for what? Effect and max. Not only max, but effect and max. I'll go and click on what? Scene setup. So guys, we are in element 3D. I don't like this grid over here. So I'm going to off it. I'll come here then come and check on what grid so the next thing that i have to do is that i have to click on extrude because our our scene is empty our logo is now over here so i have to click on extrude so i'll click on extrude so this is my logo the next thing i'm going to do is i'll scroll down over here then come to tessellation i'll change it to extreme so i'll select the extrusion model like this i'll click on the arrow over here come to bevel then extrude it to like let's say 2.5 i think 2.5 is okay so the next thing i have to do is i have to duplicate this model i have to duplicate it so i'll right click over here and come to duplicate i'll right click over here again and come to duplicate now we have three du duplicate so i'll name them i'll name the first one as what front and the second one as what as middle and the third one as what as back i'll select the middle part then bring it back like this. I'll select the back parts and bring it like this. Right now, we can't see the difference between them. So I'll come to presets, come to physical, then come and take the good for the middle one. So right now, I can see the difference over here. But the thing is that um, I want the middle part to be very small. So I'll click on, I'll click on the middle, click on the arrow over there, select the good and reduce the extrusion to like say 1.5 then i'll bring it back here so guys i think i'm cool with this i want the middle part to be glowing i'll take i'll take this green light over here then i'll put i'll put it on it i'll select the middle part then i'll i'll select that over there then i'll come to the green part like that and i'll scroll down I'll scroll down to where the color illumination is. You see color over there. I'll change it to something like orange. I think I like this one. So the next thing is I have to pick the good color for the front. Then for the back. So guys, this is what you have. So the next thing is that I'll, I'll come for the front one. This is the front. I'll come, I'll come for it. Then I'll select the good. I want to bump a texture on it. So I'll select the good over here come down over here over here you will see what's normal bomb i'll click on that i'll click on load texture i'll click on it 
and open it. So right now, this is what you have over here. I'll come to convert. I'm, I'll reduce the amount to 22. I'll click on this. Now I'll click on this too as well. So for the UV repeats, this side, I'm going to make it 9. And I'm going to make it here to 9. Right now, this is what you have. I think this is cool. I'll click on OK. I'm going to do the same thing for it, for the back to as well. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'll come to the single light, this part, then I'll come to the cinema. So the cinema is going to give you the half shell over there. I'll increase it to like 200. So guys, I think we are done over here. I have to click on what. Okay. So guys, we are, we are back in After Effects. So this is our 3D logo over here. I'll come to the world transform. I'll come to this side, scale it up. Then I'll come to the rotation part. I'll rotate it. I'll scale it up a bit. And I'll rotate it. I can position it to as well. And this is what you are going to keyframe on to do our animation. But before that, we have to what? We have to turn on some things. We have to make the color glow and stuff. So I'll click here to minimize that. And then I'll come to render settings. So in the render setting, we have the physical environment. This part really controls the light and stuff. So you we have the what? rotate environment like this. You can rotate it. So we we'll come, we we'll come down here to the glue part. We have to enable our glue. We we'll click on it. It's going to enable our glue for us. So this is what we have. We can increase this glue saturation over here. You get it. So guys, I think we are okay for now. So what we are going to do next is that we are going to duplicate our element with this. We are going to duplicate it three times. I just want to do some direct camera movement. So we select it like this, then press Ctrl D. I'm going to animate it five, five seconds intervals. I'll select this two over here. I'll bring it here. Then I'll select this one too. Then I'll bring it here. This is the first one. So I'm going to delete it. So I'll press Ctrl Shift D. So I'm going to delete the left over. Then I'll come here to as well. Control Shift D. Then I'll delete the leftover. So guys, this is what we have. So let's go back to our world. our world transform as I said earlier. So this is our world transform. I'll click, I'll click over here. We already have our rotation over here. So I want it to animate. So that one is based on you. You can animate it how you want it. So me, for me, I go for a big close up like this. Then I'll rotate it like this. Then I'll keyframe. On zero seconds so at five seconds like this I'll, ro I'll add small rotation to it something like this so this is how i do my emotions so simple and i'll come to the second one i'll start from five seconds i'll select the second one then i'll come to world transform again this time around i'll maybe zoom out and take it from a different angle as well so this one is, is based on you so maybe i'll rotate on the x rather then i'll push it to 10 seconds then i'll bring it like this you get it so there's how it is So this is the last one. So the, for the last one, it depends on you. I'll come to the world transform. For that one, I want it to end like this. Let's say like this. I have to rotate it a bit. I want it to end like this. So for that one, I'll keep him on the hot on the world scale. So that's what we use to what resize it. So I'll keep him on that. Then I'll bring it to like 15 seconds. Then at 10 seconds, I'll make it more bigger. You get it? So this is how it's going to be. But I want it to be nice, so I'll add a little bit of what rotation to it. So the rotation, I'll keyframe here. I'll press U. I'll keyframe here. Then over here. I'll change it to something like this.
I can I can make the keyframe offset a bit. I'll click on F9. I'll select the, the keyframes and click on F9. you have to arrange your keyframes very well so when you press you it's going to show you all your keyframes the next thing is that we have to add our camera so i'll right click over here come to new then come towards camera so i'll go in for 50 mm i'll click on it so for the camera part you have to enable what depth of field so i'll select the camera like this and come to camera option just click here it will turn on so right now we have depth of field so in order to use depth of field you have to come to views then come to two views horizontal so right now this is where our camera is and this is where our depth of field is so i think it's okay but i have to increase our aperture our aperture is very low so on the focus distance you can what you can click on what the stopwatch you can animate it so let's move but for this part you have to make sure that the resolution is at what as full you have to make sure it is at full so I think we are okay over here. So for this side, we have to increase our focus distance. This is our focus distance. The line over here is our focus distance. So the more it get close, the more some things get out of focus. And so that one, you have to be tweaking it by yourself. So guys, I think I'll come back to my one view, then come and play throughout. is helpful kindly share to other guys who want to learn after effects make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel any comment that you want to leave you leave it in the comment section let me know how you guys see this tutorial so the name remains video studio adios